Bangga magelang berikan solusi Ruang haluk nyawang magelang Merumuskan visi di Magelang TV Hanya di Bangga Magelang, ruang rembuknya Wong Magelang Salam jumpa pemirsa, bagaimana kabar Anda? Belajar dan juga mempelajari budaya asing tak ada salahnya. Kita perlu mempelajari hal-hal baru di luar kita. Dan yang terpenting adalah itu bisa memahami dan juga membuat kita lebih paham tentang bagaimana orang berpikir, seperti apa budaya asing juga. Dan yang penting adalah kita tetap mempertahankan budaya kita sendiri. Saat ini saya akan berbincang dengan salah satu sahabat saya. Minggu lalu kita sudah sempat ngobrol bersama dia, dia adalah Laura Gomez. Mes dari Meksiko, tetapi ada banyak yang request nih, seperti apa sebenarnya kebudayaan di Meksiko dan seperti apa tempat-tempat destinasi yang menarik yang bisa kita kunjungi. Kita akan ngobrol bersama Laura Gomez dari Meksiko, pemirsa inilah Bangga Magelang, ruang rembuknya Wong Magelang. Merumuskan visi di Magelang TV Hanya di Bangga Magelang, ruang rembuknya Wong Magelang. Ya pemirsa, saat ini saya terhubung dengan aplikasi Zoom dan seperti yang saya sampaikan tadi kita akan berbincang lebih banyak mungkin. Kita akan belajar bersama seperti apa kebudayaan di Meksiko. Mungkin kita juga bisa mengkomparasikan dengan apa yang kita miliki di Indonesia. Hi Laura, how are you? Hi Putri. How are you? It's been a week and then we Hola. meet again. Hola. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you look so I pretty. I like the dark <laughs> dress. <laughs> yeah, I remember the Dora. I like the dress. Yes, uh, let me know Mexican more about dress. the dress. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so pretty. So this is handmade. Mm -hmm. They they it's embroidery, so yeah, they yeah, um, yeah. they make it by hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing also some <laughs> funny earrings that have a mermaid. Um, yeah, mermaid see. earrings. The so pretty and the pink. <laughs> I yeah, love that. The pink. So it's a fat mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I bought them when um, I went with a friend to eat um, uh, Mexican seafood, and they were selling ah, there because the restaurant is called Fat Mermaid. Okay. Sirena Gorda okay. <laughs> in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so okay. Oh, nice. Or maybe um, there yeah, is we, a story behind behind the mermaid there is there any story behind the mermaid it's kind of like mermaid like something special for them is that well in mexico we don't uh, have like mythology of mermaids i think mm. but uh, it's popular um i will we we have uh, it some in a game that um, ah, you have like a board like bingo mm -hmm. but yep, yep, mexican yep. bingo is mm -hmm, fast third mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So one yeah. of the pictures is the mermaid, and then ah, they start to call the names, and you have to put also beans, and the one that feels the board first uh -huh. is like a bingo, but Mexican bingo, and it's called loteria. Loteria. <laughs> yeah, maybe that. But that's not like lottery. Uh, loteria. Well, loteria. Oh, okay. Loteria. Yeah. I, well, that, I like lottery in English. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of the same. <laughs> It's like like lucky game. Yeah, and yeah. I guess mermaids are famous in the beaches. Usually, we have some sometimes sculptures of mermaids ah, near see, the famous beaches. Because some, of maybe a lot of beaches, right? Maybe because a lot of beaches around there, so there is an about mermaid too. Yeah, Mexico happen, has right? a lot of a lot of beaches, uh, yeah, different um, parts of the. Well, the country, we have mm -hmm. some that are colder, but usually mm -hmm. the water mm -hmm. is warm. So mm -hmm. that's why a lot of people like it, because, for example, in the U.S. or mm -hmm. Canada, mm -hmm. the, the water is very cold, cold. because it's mm -hmm. in the north of mm -hmm. the continent. Mm -hmm. But Mexico has really nice weather, and mm -hmm. that, I think that's why Europeans and Americans and uh, Canadians to love to come to, 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 to Mexico. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so before we talk a yeah. lot about the Mexico's beach, uh, let us know more about the Mexican. How's Mexican? How's Mexico's people? Maybe the fact about Mexico's people. So, about Mexican. Mexico's people. 
Mm-hmm. I think Mexicans, um, we are very warm people. We mm-hmm. are very welcoming. It's uh, really so like you. Can... <laughs> yeah, we are like Indonesians. And I think especially with foreigners, um, mm-hmm. we are very welcoming and mm-hmm. always invite them to our home. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, we cook for them. I mean, mm-hmm. I am kind of a um, master in that because when okay. my friends come to visit me, from uh-huh. other countries, I always invite them home, and oh. they can stay here, and mm-hmm. I cook for them. Mm-hmm. I even, we have another house in another state called Querétaro, ah, and I, I will show you some pictures from them sure. later. But um, I take them there, and mm-hmm. there is a mountain there that we climb. Wow. And, uh, so uh, there are many things to see, and I like to take them around. I take them to the pyramids, close to the center, I take them to the center. And I cook for them, and um, it sounds we have also, of course, really our... good to come there. I mean, to visit you, especially because you are a good guy. Oh, yeah. You will show us anything what we need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I think, um, and even when I'm not here, because mm-hmm. I, I usually I don't live in Mexico, so um, uh, when I'm here, I do it. Uh, and if I'm not uh, here, I have my friends, and I ask my true, friends to do true, it. True, and true, true. <laughs> so they help me, or my brother, or my sister, mm-hmm. and also my mom. Even my mom doesn't speak English well, mm-hmm. but she tries. And uh, yeah, I think Mexicans we are very welcoming, and mm-hmm. we are very um, like festive people. We love to celebrate ah, things. Okay. And. Um, um, yeah, like for Christmas, we mm-hmm. make uh, n- like nine uh, parties before Christmas that are called mm-hmm. posadas, mm-hmm. and we break the piñatas that are ah, really famous. I know uh, that. Also, you know this big thing that we break. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Filled with fruit or uh-huh, sweet. Uh-huh. We sing songs. Of course, in the Independence Day, we also uh-huh. like to sing and shout like Mexicans, oh. and um, we like to drink tequila. Of course, mm-hmm. tequila mm-hmm. is the. Um, mm-hmm. I I have one here actually. Oh. Although, well, this is tequila. Yeah. I <laughs> so, see. Yeah, we drink this. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we drink tequila, mm-hmm. and we also drink mezcal. And mm-hmm. I also have mm-hmm. mezcal here actually. Mm-hmm. You yeah. have a lot of them you on your room. <laughs> it's like everything we <laughs> can find on your room. <laughs> I have a lot of Mexican things. I know, yeah. So mezcal and tequila are very mm-hmm. famous drinks. And, mm-hmm. uh, usually mezcal is uh, like more lighter mm-hmm. in color. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it yeah, has become true. a very sophisticated drink now. Like everyone thinks it's so fashionable because it's ah. a little more traditional now. Uh, yeah, but tequila is more famous, I think, worldwide. Mm. So we love to do that, and mm-hmm, I love mm-hmm. to teach my friends how to drink tequila as well. Oh. And um, <laughs> yeah, you, you put a little lemon on your f- hand and salt, ah, and then okay. you make it. <laughs> and then oh, you, you try you drink the, the little shot, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you shout like ah, Mexican. Ah, okay. So Mexican shout. We should. This. We... It's like, <laughs> ah! I, think, <laughs> I think you should show us yeah. now, or maybe later. <laughs> Okay, that would be better if we yeah, uh, can yeah. talk. Yeah, right. We we can talk later after this break, yeah, Laura. We, yeah, be, because we're going to talk about the best destination in Mexico and a lot of talks about Mexico today. Jadi pemirsa kita baru saja membicarakan bagaimana orang Meksiko yang memang mereka sangat ramah sekali untuk menyambut orang-orang baru dan selain itu mereka juga suka berpesta dan mengajarkan hal-hal baru kepada foreigner dan jangan khawatir juga Laura bercerita siapapun yang datang dia akan mengajaknya untuk berkeliling Meksiko karena sepertinya memang dia salah satu representasi orang Meksiko yang cukup baik kita akan kembali lagi setelah jeda pariwara berikut ini. JPM Stream, sebuah aplikasi Play Store yang memudahkan kamu untuk menyaksikan program terbaik dari 30 TV jaringan Jawa Post TV. Jawa Post TV, JTV, Padang TV, Simpang 5 TV, Kawanwa TV, Nirwana TV. BTV, Pon TV, Magelang TV. 
get your Japan Stream apps now. Ya pemirsa Anda masih bersama kami di Bangka Magelang, ruang rubuknya Wong Magelang. Kembali lagi bersama Laura. Hai Laura. And then oh, we're going to continue about our talks that that's so interesting. I really want to know how to, you know, how to celebrate something and then you shout as a Mexican. <laughs> But sure. you, you want to yeah, show I, us? I can, I can. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Okay. Or, or, or maybe we can do that on the last segments at if you end. don't mind, right? At the yeah, end, at the end, end of I, segments. I, I, I just, I have everything. I just need to go for lemon. So I, I, I'll, I'll do it for oh. you at the end to close the show. That will be great. Yes, that will be, be better. Great. Yeah, we can do it together. <laughs> Me here in Indonesia and you're in Mexico. We can do it better using this virtual uh, platform. Okay, let's continue. Of about the best destination in Mexico. Let us know. Okay, so there are two. Uh, mm -hmm. In this first segment, I will tell you about um, Mexico City um, mm -hmm. main square and also mm -hmm. some uh, pyramids that are close mm -hmm. by, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. another state that is called mm -hmm. Queretaro, and mm -hmm. the mountain is there, very beautiful mm -hmm. to climb. Mm -hmm. I tried to choose something that are similar to Indonesia. Oh, so that's first interesting. I chose Okay, Wait, it's so, kind of we can uh, compare two of them, right? Yeah, sure. So mm -hmm. as I told you, Mexico City mm -hmm. reminded me, uh, well, J Jakarta reminded mm -hmm. me of Mexico City because it mm -hmm. has, of course, the, the National uh, Palace and mm -hmm. it has the government there and mm -hmm. different neighborhoods and a lot mm -hmm. of art museums mm -hmm. with the culture of Indonesia. And mm -hmm. so in Mexico City, it's, it's also the same. We have museums okay. with Mexican culture mm -hmm. and also close by, we have some uh, temples, mm -hmm. uh, well, py pyramids. Uh, okay. So uh, for Mexico City, mm -hmm. uh, beginning there in the center, Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. have uh, in the national square. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the national palace. Um, okay. Where is um, um, where, for example, the president uh, shouts for the independence mm, from that balcony. I see. I uh, see. In the Independence Day. Mm -mm, so mm -mm, that's mm -mm. a national palace. Mm -hmm. That is also a museum inside, and you can know about mm -hmm. uh, Benito Juarez. That is one of the most important. Uh, presidents of our history mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, also you have a lot of murals uh, murals are very ah, big paintings on the walls okay. um, for example by Diego Rivera and Diego mm -hmm. Rivera is a very very renowned uh, muralist, muralist in Mexico mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah who was married to Frida Kahlo and Frida Kahlo is also very known um, uh, well like in, in culture mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. arts in Mexico she was a Mexican painter a woman Mm -hmm. And um, but you can see in the pictures um, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. there is this mural that talks about Mexican history that is inside mm -hmm. the National Palace, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can see how it goes from the Aztecs to mm -hmm. the uh, the first the revolution, uh, independence, then the mm -hmm. revolution, mm -hmm. and you see all this like also criticism of politics and mm -hmm. it's very interesting to explain but i would need a lot of time to explain all of that <laughs> i know but that, we that. <laughs> yeah yeah we <laughs> just only <laughs> have a short time to describe a lot of things it's like you know laura when i talk about indonesia i like want to talk everything about indonesia it's like you if you're going to talk about mexico it's like going never end yeah, right <laughs> Actually, um, I, I think I, I can compare this with the National Monument in, in, in Jakarta. Ah, you go I see. Inside, they mm -hmm, have all mm -hmm. this uh, history of mm -hmm, Jakarta mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm, and Indonesia, mm -hmm. how do you, you get your independence and true, true. All, all these like Dutch people when they mm -hmm. came to colonize. True, and we true. have the same. Uh, mm -hmm. We have colonization, colonization from Spanish people. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. we can compare that, uh, mm -hmm. the National Palace uh, okay, insights, okay. the history with the insights of the National mm -hmm, Monument mm -hmm. in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Then next to the National Palace, we mm -hmm. have the Templo Mayor, the great ah, temple, mayor okay. temple, that mm -hmm. was from the Aztecs. The Aztecs was the most important culture of the post-classic period. So we have pre-classic, classic, post-classic, post -classic, ah. which is the last period of the, the cultures, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, native cultures in Mexico. They were oh. a warrior empire. They were mm -hmm, known mm -hmm, for, mm -hmm. for example, all these human sacrifices that mm -hmm. uh, you see mm -hmm. in movies, mm -hmm. this was the only culture that made this, uh, but it was not, con not considered a sacrifice. It was more mm -hmm. considered like an offering to the ah, gods. Um, I see. Especially to, 
uh, with Chilopostli, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that is like a warrior god. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm, well, mm -hmm. we have this temple, and it mm -hmm. was it has seven layers um, ah, because okay. each new Tlacopi. This is really new information for me. This is really new about the temple. I just know that there is a temple there. That would be interesting. Continue, please. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so, mm -hmm. uh, so this temple is mm -hmm. still there because mm -hmm. when the Spanish mm -hmm. came, they destroyed mm -hmm. the temple. And they ah. put, uh, they built on top of it a Catholic uh, mm -hmm. cathedral mm -hmm. because they wanted to impose Catholicism. Yeah. 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 But because the temple had seven layers, because each time there was a new king, uh, mm -hmm. Or Tlatuani. Tlatuani mm -hmm. is the name of the kings for the Mex uh, Mex um, Mexicas or Aztecs. Mexica. Mm -hmm. they, they, this Tlatuani would build a new level on top. Ah, so there were seven I levels see. and they destroyed the first step the four. First. Ah, but okay. we have some layers of the third, the second, mm, and second. the first. Oh, okay. So okay. they made this uh, uh, museum mm -hmm. around this, uh, the, the leftovers of the temple, mm -hmm. explaining mm -hmm. all this. And you can find, for example, the Chacmo, which mm -hmm, is like mm -hmm. a little guy lying down like this. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. there they used to put um, mm -hmm, the sacrifices, like mm -hmm. um, they say maybe human heart. It sounds very oh. uh, like a savage, okay. but for them it was an offering for, for the god. So I that uh, the days would continue mm -hmm, and uh, mm -hmm. there would be prosperity. So, well, each culture has their own ways. True, true, true. Like the true, Mexicas true. or Aztecs, they were mm -hmm, a little mm -hmm. more, uh, mm -hmm. they are like <laughs> warriors. Um, <laughs> but how snows this? Well, they how's know this? How snows this about the people and about the temple? How knows this? How about understand yeah. the question. Uh, how, how about the no days, uh, the temple and the Mexican? And the new days. No, mm -hmm. no. We are not. Uh, we still have around uh, 75 uh, cultures in Mexico. Ah, but they okay. are like in little, they're better preserved in little towns and uh, mm -hmm. not really mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. But we have mm -hmm. even Nahuatl, that was mm -hmm. a language mm -hmm. spoken by the Aztecs, is still very strong in okay. some uh, uh, towns. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, we have a lot of dialects uh, and languages which is really nice like i went once oh, to a town okay. and i could not understand anything it was like mm -hmm, being in mm -hmm, indonesia mm -hmm. because they spoke their own language <laughs> I, so got it, I got it we have a lot of cultures <laughs> we, we, we will continue Mexico, after uh, the break laura i i uh, apologize oh. um we, we can continue no, after we, this break <laughs> This is so interesting for me, especially there is a lot of information and new knowledge about the Mexico. We can continue after this. Jadi pemirsa tadi uh, Laura menjelaskan bagaimana kehidupan di sana dan juga bagaimana ternyata uh, beragam agama juga ada di sana. Mulai dari agama-agama uh, yang dianutnya, ada Kristen juga dan juga uh, ada penjajahan juga yang diceritakan, penjajahan Spanyol yang memang mempengaruhi sendi-sendi kehidupan di Meksiko. Kita lanjutkan kembali pemirsa. Setelah jeda paru-paru berikut ini, JPM Stream sebuah aplikasi Play Store yang memudahkan kamu untuk menyaksikan program terbaik dari 30 TV jaringan Jawa Post TV. Jawa Post TV, JTV, Padang TV, Simpang 5 TV, Kawan Wan TV. Nirwana TV, BTV, Pon TV, Magelang TV. Get your Japan Stream apps now. Masih bersama kami pemirsa, memang sangat menyenangkan sekali ya ketika mendengarkan orang lain berbicara, bercerita tentang budaya yang ada di yang mereka miliki. Tentu kita masih penasaran sekali seperti apa budaya-budaya dan juga tempat-tempat terbaik di Meksiko. Kita lanjutkan kembali. So, Laura, let's continue. So, now what we going to talk? Like the best destination. You talk us about a lot of things that that make me especially maybe people viewers here also amazed with the mexico yeah well, there are so many things so i'm gonna be brief <laughs> because there are so many <laughs> things uh so about uh, close to mexico city mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. are the teotihuacan uh, pyramids of the mm -hmm. sun and the mm -hmm. moon and they're mm -hmm. very famous to go and climb them and you can charge with very good energy for example on, oh, on spring okay. and there i bought this um, 
kind of mix up different important animals like the oh. serpent and the um, it's like a tiger, but it's not a tiger. It's, uh, uh -huh. and then, That's um, like a symbol, right? That's important. like a symbol, um, an animal um, symbol. Ah, yeah, yeah I can see the face yeah. inside, right? What that means? What that means? Yeah, the face thing. inside. What that means? I think it's, it looks like about a warrior because this ah, is like a warrior inside. Like, like warriors right? would. Uh, yeah, this is like a mask for a warrior, ah, and okay. like a jaguar with a serpent, mm -hmm. and then you can do like this. <laughs> like a tiger. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Let's roar. <laughs> yeah, like a roar. And then also, this is a stone where people go there to watch the sun. Like when they, you have like a when the the moon uh, blocks the sun mm -hmm, eclipse. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You can use this to look at the eclipse uh, and you ah. don't hurt your eyes. Okay. I haven't used that. Whoa, that's so interesting. That. So, so uh, that's that's yeah, like that's a very, very local, uh, right? Very local, traditional. I mean, very local. Yeah, it's traditional. That soon. To do that. Yeah. Oh, um, that's interesting. Yeah, well, uh, so you climb the pyramids and you mm -hmm. can see different representations of gods there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, like uh, the most important is. Uh, mm -hmm. um, Quetzalcoat, that it's a mm -hmm. serpent uh, mm -hmm. with feathers, mm -hmm. and it's the uh, wind god, and it was very important for Teotihuacan mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So, well, this one. And Tlaloc, that is the mm -hmm. son of the rain. These two mm -hmm. gods were very important for them. Okay. So, well, going from Mexico City, we can mm -hmm. go to Querétaro and the Peña de Bernal, that it's a big rock that you can mm -hmm. climb, it's like a mountain. Ah, I, okay. I decided to talk a little about this one because uh -huh. you have so many volcanoes and mountains in Indonesia. Ah, true, true, true. We have that. So, so this one is like easier. It's very easy. You can climb in 30 minutes <laughs> and you can have a nice view there. And I took my friend from the US there uh, ah. as you can see there in the pictures and videos mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you have a nice view and it's a nice walk up and you can mm -hmm. eat there some cactus uh, mm -hmm. it's called nopal but it's a cactus and we fill with vegetables mm -hmm. and we eat a lot of cactus and tortillas and tacos ah. so well that wow. and then going mm -hmm. all the way from uh, yeah that's interesting please continue uh, <laughs> so we are here in the center, and then from mm -hmm. here we go to the south, and uh, mm -hmm. this is the last destination I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, Playa del Carmen, it's very popular, uh, everyone knows Cancun and Playa del Carmen, uh -oh. and there is an island called Hosh Holbosch, and oh. this island, it's great. It's like a little Thailand in Mexico, I would say, because oh, the, really? the atmosphere there uh -huh, uh -huh. of uh, backpackers from many countries, ah, Europe, okay, for example, okay. mm -hmm. and um, and you can see a lot of things there. Um, for example, they have they have a very long white sand beach, mm -hmm. beach that you can walk, and the water wow. is on your feet, and wow. it's so beautiful. And also, I can, can imagine that. That's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. And also at night you can walk to other parts of the island and you can see this luminescence, mm -hmm. like green lights on the water, that it's like a plant that lives in the water. Mm -hmm. And it in the dark it glows, so it's nice. And also around that area there's also, if you go for sunset, you can see mm -hmm. flamingos. There are these very mm -hmm. big uh, pink birds. Oh, and they fly yeah, so beautifully. Flamingos, and the sunset that. is great. Wow, that's so uh, beautiful. If you go there, take mosquito repellent because see, really there's a lot of mosquitoes to go there. there. <laughs> Please pick me up to go there. It's like now I, I decided. I decided. I decided now. Like uh, Mexico is the top list of the country that I want to go. <laughs> Thank no, you, you sure. Laura. It has. It's of a course, of course. It has so many things to see. Also, you can go in a boat to a mm -hmm, bird mm -hmm. island, and there are mm -hmm. a lot of birds there. Mm -hmm. and uh, the food is good also seafood mm -hmm. and then if you go to back to the uh, mainland and uh, you mm -hmm. can go in Playa del Carmen there are some places called cenotes mm -hmm. that are uh, like a very good, big area of water of mm -hmm. uh, this is sweet water and okay. you can jump there and <laughs> you can see in the video how I jump wow. <laughs> to the water <laughs> uh, 
and you can see fish and there are some fish that eat uh, your feet see, but they don't I eat see. you they just like clean yeah yeah, feet, yeah 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 and it feels like oh wow and i like that <laughs> and you can also swim uh, uh -huh. in, in akumal that is a beach you can swim with very big turtles you can well they are protected but if you are lucky oh, they can swim around you is that safe and, to do that or there is a guide to yeah, help so, us right uh, yeah, you have to take a guide. Before it was free, uh -huh. but now uh -huh. they are protecting them, so you true, have to take true. a guide. Ah, okay. And if you are lucky and the turtle comes out of the... There is wow. a protection area that you cannot go. Wow, but sometimes wow, wow. the turtles go out, if they go yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was lucky because it went out, so I yeah, could yeah. see it. And it was very beautiful. Yeah. So, so yeah, you can see also these big turtles in Mexico, another different fish there. Wow. And we have manglares also, that is like a lot of trees. In, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there is a park called Shelha, where mm -hmm. you have a mixture of salty water with mm -hmm. sweet water. Mm -hmm. And here we have the manglares um, that are like mm -hmm. trees coming from the water. And you can see some quatis that are like, I don't know, it's, they're not squirrels, but they, they, they are very big animals that go <laughs> okay. uh, on, the, on, the, on the trees and they're nice. And well, you have so many things to see in Mexico. Wow. So I think you should come. Like, the, of you course, have of course, culture, definitely. And you have beaches, true, and, true. Uh, mountains, a lot uh, of mountains. We also I have need that. I yeah. A lot of things that I need just just go there. I think that's the answer. <laughs> okay, the last yeah, part yeah. is is the important thing that I really want to see. <laughs> Maybe viewers here, uh, yeah, all of yeah. Indonesian so, people also I want to prepared. learn. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I prepare the ritual. That mm -hmm. it's like uh, this is the tequila. Okay. In this uh, pot thing, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. oh, some salt and yep. lemon. And lemon. at least the way I I do it, I, I put some lemon in my in my hand, of course, uh -huh. wash, wash your hand. Okay. And some salt. And then salt. And then you have to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. You lick it, and mm -hmm. you take. And shout. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love that! <laughs> can, can I shout yeah. <laughs> together with you? Uh, um, I want to learn how to shout like you. Okay, okay, okay. So, do you want to drink it yeah. or, or just shout? I just want to shout. Okay, I just shout. want to shout. Okay. So, for shouting, How? you have to come from the heart. So, mm -hmm. try to mm -hmm. ah, go inside the shout. Okay. <laughs> okay, let and me then, try. Ah, uh -huh. hi. Oh, okay. okay, try. Okay, okay. I think w I need to together just with you because if I'm. Okay, together. Okay. Yeah, please, together. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. Okay, one. Oh, in español. Uno, yeah. dos, tres. Thank you so much, Laura. It's just an interesting talk today. And we learned a lot of things about Mexico. And of course, a lot of viewers here just really want to come to Mexico as soon as possible after this corona. Of course, we just hope everything yeah, going to better go. soon, right? Of course. Thank you so much, Laura, for the nice experience for again. using virtual. <laughs> Of course, we can continue next time to talk again about the interesting part of Mexico or another thing. Thank you so much. Yeah, whenever you need, I can talk about other things. We have so many things. Aww. And I'm very happy to be in your show and uh, to show a little of my country to Indonesian people. So whenever you can come, uh, just call me and I will try to make you feel at home. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank gracias. you so much. Gracias. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. <laughs> gracias, Laura. See you next time. Thank you so much. Jadi tadi membicarakan mengenai budaya memang tidak ada habisnya. Tadi saya sedikit belajar seperti apa cara mereka berteriak dan budaya-budaya yang dimiliki Meksiko. Kita akan kembali lagi mungkin nanti dengan budaya-budaya lain di negara lain. Pemirsa saya Putra Madani. Sampai jumpa.